I noticed that you know clinical trials have become quite cumbersome over time, and I would say even especially so in some areas that are particularly critical, like rare disease or immuno oncology, where the patients have you know tremendous need, and there's also great opportunities for breakthrough. Why? I mean, first, am I right that trials have to become more cumbersome, and and why would that be? It's a couple of reasons. One is the science has gotten more complicated. And so because the science is more complicated, we have to collect more things. As we've moved to rare disease, we have to now spend more time helping, I would say, identify the right responders in a rare disease, which means more testing, more identification. Then because of genomics and pharmacogenomics, we have more testing on there to understand like how is the drug interacting. And so science has driven this explosion in, I would say, the amount of procedures or activities we do on patients. And I'm choosing my term there correctly. Yeah. We do them to people. We don't do them with people, <laughs> unfortunately. We do these things to people. That complexity or data collection is just directly proportional to our success rate. It's been studied quite extensively, but uh, unfortunately, the biggest predictor of trial success is actually how much data you're collecting. It's not the science, and it's petrifying. And so it's a true effect. We are just doing more stuff. But the, And the reason it's so overwhelming is because we do everything by hand. This is one of the last industries, I think, out there that, you know, it's ripe to be automated. It's just because of the nature of the industry and the quality bar, we've had to do everything by hand. But now I think technology is finally at a point where that that's pivoting and changing. 